Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel. Now, most new pilots in Flight Sim and even new pilots starting out can get confused about the rudder pedals and what they are for. Are they just for taxiing? Do we use them in flight? And why do airliners and small general aviation planes handle them so differently? So in our video today, we're going to be having a look at the rudder and when you should and when you shouldn't be using those pedals. Now, on the ground, the rudder pedals control both the nose wheel steering and the rudder. You need them to keep straight on the taxiways and the runways, especially in crosswind conditions or when you apply high power. In most single engine propeller aircraft, like a Cessna 172, the engine's torque and slipstream will push the aircraft to the left. So that's why student pilots are told to hold steady right rudder on the takeoff roll, otherwise the aircraft can just veer left down the runway. And in airliners with engines, again, the rudder is still used during the takeoff roll to keep yourself centered on the runway center line. But this isn't usually due to any slipstream or torque. This is purely just due to general weather and wind conditions. Once you're airborne, this is where general aviation aircraft and airliners start to deviate in the use of the rudder. So in light aircraft, the rudder is essential for coordinating your turns. If you just use aileron, the nose yaws the wrong way. This is called adverse yaw, and the aircraft will skid or slip. That's when the ball on the turn coordinator will slide off the center. New pilots are taught this simple rule, and that is step on the ball. If the ball slides to the right, you apply some right rudder. If it slides to the left, then apply left rudder. And what you're actually doing is bringing the nose back in line with the turn. So the lift and the drag forces on the aircraft are balanced. The ball is basically a weight in a curved tube. It shows if the airplane is slipping sideways. Step on the ball and you cancel that slip. Now let's move on to airliners, because modern airliners, the story is very different. The rudder is not used in normal turns. The design of the aircraft, and in many cases, the flight control computers keep everything coordinated automatically. Let's take the Airbus A320 for example. In flight, the rudder pedals are basically just footrests. The fly-by-wire system keeps the aircraft in balance, so there's no need for the pilots to step on the ball. In fact, there isn't even a ball in the flight deck. Instead, airliners use a side step indicator on the primary flight display. And the only time this is really ever utilized is during an engine out procedure. And so in modern airliners, the only time the pilots ever really will touch the rudder is during the takeoff roll to keep straight with the crosswinds, a crosswind landing, kicking the aircraft so it's nice and straight just before the touchdown, and during engine failures where the rudder is actually vital to counter asymmetric thrust. Let's quickly then just touch upon the crosswind use for the rudder. Here's a classic case in a GA aircraft like a Cessna, you will often slip all the way down the finals with one wing low into the wind, opposite rudder to keep the nose straight, but in an airliner, it's completely different. You basically will crab your aircraft all the way into the wind, and then at the last moments in the flare, we use the rudder to align the nose with the runway center line just before touching down. So both handled quite differently. Now, of course, if you do have any questions, then please do feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back and answer that for you. But to quickly wrap it up, on the ground, the rudder keeps you straight. In general aviation aircraft, rudder is part of almost every maneuver in the air. The turns, slips, crosswinds, power changes. But in airliners, the rudder is hardly ever touched in flight. It's only used during the takeoff roll to keep straight on the runway, during crosswind landings and engine failures. Now, a quick question for you, which kind of aircraft do you like to fly the most in flight sim? Do you prefer the airliner long haul, medium haul flights, or are you a general aviation buff who likes flying low and slow? Let me know down in the comments. So hopefully that may have answered some questions you will have had prior to the start of this video with regards to the rudder. And of course, if you have enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like. Be sure as well to please check out our channel partners where we can save you 10% 
on the Contrail store with your purchases there using our EasyJet Simpilot discount code below. Also be sure to check out Innovils, our channel partner. Again, link in the video description down below. Those are affiliate links, so anything you purchase through those do go a long way towards helping support this channel, for which I am very, very thankful. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and, of course, live streams. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye for now.